Hey guys, Crystal Das and Hobbs here, bringing another weekly brutal mutation. Here's the stats for the game we just played. Uh, this week it is Think Fast with Speed Freaks and Propagators. I'm going to go ahead and load up our replay here. Scroll to the top. Watch with others. All right. So um, Propagators, for those of you who don't know, are units that are one-hit kill. They don't do damage. They just kill your units outright. And when your units die, be it a unit or a building, that unit that was killed becomes a new propagator. And being as propagators are moving twice as fast as normal, well, you need high burst damage or you're going to die. So, yeah. We basically decided uh, one player on the offense, one player on spider mine defense, because spider mines are pretty much this the only way to do this. Coral defense force. And we're good. Amon's troops have taken the city. They're summoning void shards everywhere. Once they activate, those shards will decimate August Grad. We need to destroy each of them before that happens. Don't well, down. I wouldn't say it's good. I mean, we almost lost quite a few times, but hey, it's a fun first experience. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. So, <laughs> any thoughts, Hobbs? I already had my first uh, taste of this during uh, Wheel of Misfortune, and that is definitely not the place to have Speed Freaks and Propagators on Void Launch. <laughs> yeah. Especially when your ally is Stukov and your Nova. Ooh. That sounds like it would And then hurt. right at the end, you get hit with Transmutation just for... just because it likes to troll. Oh, that sounds like quite the experience. So, um, what I'm doing here is... Uh, building a wall for the first wave because, well, the first wave on rifts always kind of sucks, and since Rainer is fast taking to vultures, Vorazun gets uh, first wave duty, and I do this nifty little wall-in thing where I make enough cannons to kill the enemies and put them in a power field. Prepare yourselves. The enemy is inbound on our base. From a dark pylon far enough back that it cannot get hit, so... That's the plan for the first wave. Propagators, that's another story. The enemy is Protoss. Be wary. He he he. This works for normal rifts to core hall all the time, too. Reapers can get around this. Vikings can get around this. Uh, Phoenix can get around it. But it stops a good majority of the waves, so... Just let the cannons poke away. I'm pretty sure Zerglings will get through this too. Nope. There's that little gap that they should be able to get through. I make but they sure the can't. buildings are overlapped just perfectly enough that nothing can get through. Trust me, I've done this hundreds of times, man. <laughs> so now I send my Dark Templars to clear the first area, but I gotta be careful because the propagators, you'll notice on the mini map, have appeared. If they touch the Dark Templars, and they are detectors, you got five propagators instead of four, so I'm moving out of the way. So, when you do this mutation, I highly recommend you do this versus an all ground comp because when you're getting mass uh, vulture, it annihilates all ground comps, but it leaves you completely vulnerable to air. Yep. And trying to, and for me at least, microing both an anti air and a, and doing all the mine spam is just annoying to do anyway, especially at 3 a.m. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of neglected to get AA so when I really shouldn't have. So whenever the later waves came with the giant balls of oracles and carriers and void rays, I had no defense against them. And I kind of relied on Daz's fleet of void rays, and that's probably not the best thing to rely on, because void rays are the almost the slowest thing in the game. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just be going around the edge of the map, but I had to come back home, but hey, that's what happens when you get an all-air wave, so. One of the advantages of being Rainer, aside from spider mines, is if you have the drop pod mastery bonus on, your Banshee call down is probably the best thing you can use to clear out void shards without even having to go into their base. Guaranteed. Scanners are picking up multiple void shards. Our mission is to obliterate them. 
So later on you'll see that I'm gonna basically just be mining the whole central area just in a big straight line with just big concentrations of mines so they don't try to slip past. They do slip past once or twice because uh, they found a little crack in my defenses and or, and or the oracle balls just destroyed every mine in their path. Yep. So you gotta watch out for that. And this one little scout just keeps on poking away at us. We just ignore it for now. And then we overkill it. <laughs> By we, I mean Hobbs. <laughs> well, I was planning to call down the, Ar the Hyperion anyway to deal with the second set of shards, but... I was also just trying to make sure that the propagators from this wave coming in right now don't get around us immediately. Yep, so I had a delayed come. expansion, a very delayed expansion actually, and uh, yeah. So you'll notice that uh, propagators, uh, you need high damage, that is burst damage, to be able to take care of them. Uh, there are two spells in the game that can accomplish this. Here's the overkill. Uh, the two spells are uh, Rainer's Spider Mines and Abathur's uh, Toxic Nests. Those can kill the propagators before they get to you. Everything else, you've got a risky chance of, uh, yeah. So uh, one thing we did learn in this game, uh, these point defense drones can be propagated, which they do get later, so that's fun. Got an enemy attack coming for our base. Stay frosty. Those banshees really are good at sniping the shards. Boom. Well, just as they leave, they manage to snag a few shots and destroy it. To oblivion. Not good. Multiple so, if you're the one on mine duty, you, you have to out. make sure that you have enough mines because the uh -huh. run so fast, they can actually outrun the mines if you don't have enough of them. Yup. Your allies are in battle! So yeah, I got a little bit delayed here on my Void Ray production because, well, this is the worst possible enemy composition to be facing versus Void Rays, and couple that with getting pulled back home every couple waves, it was, it was rough, it was rough, but you know, we got through it. Rainer did his job with the spider mines and protected us from propagation, and that was the most important thing this map, so... We got through it, barely. Another thing that's useful to have as an upgrade, vultures are fast as they are, but getting the uh, the jet boost, as you'll see here, I um, it makes your vultures a lot more mobile, and you can actually, if you like, although this is kind of foolish, uh, kite the propagators a bit. To at least get them back into your minefield if, if they manage to slip past a little bit. Yep. So, we are plenty good on time. Uh, I'm getting my 3-3 upgrades before I do anything, pretty much. Uh, there's no reason to go attack early if you don't want to. I am going to clear up this middle part, because why not? Uh, the propagators do spawn from buildings. If you uh, take out the buildings, they won't spawn from them, so... It's a good idea to do that, I think. We got some visitors heading for our base. So we you initially intended friendly. to clear the bonuses, but uh, we had a wave nearly kill us, and we nearly got we nearly yeah. lost. So we just decided against yep. running. Those Camaran pirates are trying to steal from us during an attack on the city. I'd appreciate it if you could exterminate I them. I barely got that recall in time. <laughs> Yeah, Vorazun with her dark pylons being able to warp around the map, especially in a speed freak scenario, absolutely essential. You need your dark pylons everywhere. Which is why I put a couple here in the front too a little bit later. So I can recall back when necessary. And propagators, they won't attack the spider mines fast enough to be able to propagate them, which is really nice, I think.
Well, they are detectors. They can see them. They just won't even bother trying to do it. Yep. I try to take in a uh, Rainer's gas here, but this uh, expansion gets pretty wrecked in a couple minutes. So. And we had a little bit more trouble than we uh, anticipated on this map, but you know we did it first try. So. Well. I don't count. I don't count. Uh, Testing the waters of Think I'll call speed freaks as so tries. Yeah. Fair enough. So basically, I think Rainer can solo this whole mission. If he's good enough with his micro, he can just Banshee, Hyperion, the shards, Spider Mind defense. I honestly think he could. Yeah, he probably could. And another Void Shard crumbles into dust. Well done. Commander. I don't think I've done very much this game oh, yet. You got it. That one's down for the count. Your base Our allies are in I am coming to try to defend your uh, command center. Figure I should take out the void race that are killing your spider mines first, though. Better plan. Yep. Time stop available. There we go. Propagators incoming. They sure eat up a lot of those spider mines. Yeah, what does it take? Four? Four to kill one of them? I don't know. Maybe three because of splash. I don't. Uh... All right. I just try not to test. Just to test. All right, so here I go, and I lose unneedlessly void rays because you got spice storm like three times. Yeah, it's three in the morning, and you know how it is. <laughs> Man, I'm playing StarCraft one again. The AI is relentless in their ability spam. Yep. Well, that makes Whether it be size storm for Protoss or lockdown on on Terran Ghost or um, uh, plague on Defilers, it's Commander, just constant annoyance with the spellcasters. Yeah. Aside from their uh, godly micro with the ability spam in that game, they're really not that bright. So yeah, I'm just clearing away around the edge here and uh, getting ready for my final assault on the shards. Retrospect, Void Ray is probably not the best option. And I have to turn around at this point, so... I do try to recall, but my dark pylons get destroyed before I can, so it's like, ah, crap. So yeah, this part was fun. <laughs> Love all those oracles. Why were your voice rays attacking the interceptors? Oh man. Because they have horrible AI. And I'm on A move right now. So yeah, that was fun. Pops is definitely on top of his uh, spider mine duty, which is which is something I definitely recommend. I recommend. Concentrate on saving the city. I'll hunt down that scum later. I think spider mine's the way, way, way safer option than Abathur. What I recommend is one person being on full time spider mine duty as Rainer. Don't try to do anything else. Just focus solely on spider mines and have your other ally go around and snipe the shards. Uh, any. Like, Morazun can fly around, Nova can use Liberators to go around, Swan can use his laser drill, but just have Rainer defend with spider mines. That is one of the most important things on this map. And don't make him micro other stuff. Protect your Rainer, just have him spider mine, 
go around and kill everything else or gold. I think that's a winning strategy, so. So as you'll see here, I get a ton of shit propagated and I have to quickly kite it back real quick to, to my, <laughs> Damn it. To my, my uh, torn apart. spider mine line. And that looks fun. Up. More propagators incoming and my void rays are like, nope. Soon. You just gotta watch out for those things. I decide to come back for this wave. Figure he might need some help. And out of spite, I just Yamatoed all those oracles because I hate them. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the. It wasn't the waves that were a problem, it wasn't the propagators that were the problem, it was the combination of both. It really got us. It was just a Our lot of quick, quick reflexes we had to have. Warp and more pylons. Bonus objective expiring. You must construct additional pylons. All right, so here we go in for the final assault. I'm gonna basically kill until uh. My void rays take enough damage, and then I'll time stop, and we'll go in, and we'll finish it off, so. Yeah, take that, Psy Storm. It'll take more take than that, a few void to defeat the Dominion. Ain't nothing to it. I am disrupting time now. Be ready to attack. Now, if Propagators would have spawned on top of my Void Race at this point, we would have had a problem. But, they didn't, so we're good. Because time stop. Yep. Oh, you actually did have a Propagator spawn there? Wow, I didn't even see it. Yeah, it managed to stack one unit, but then your Void Race killed it. Good. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm sure we could have done the bonuses if we were a little bit more awake, but it is what it is. So that's one strategy that works. Rainer, Spider Mine, second character, someone who can go around and kill stuff. So um, I think that's all there is to that. Uh, if you're not doing Rainer or Abathur, good freaking luck. Any closing words, Hobbs? Uh, if you're feeling ballsy, go Stukov, just because it'll be amusing to see you lose. I'll see y'all next week. Take care. Bye.